Hey guys, a quick video about uh, if you are starting off with AWS today and uh, you just sign up for the AWS account and you have a startup and uh, you want to uh, put some resources in AWS, spin up your website and serve some clients, so on and so forth. Right? So today you are starting off with AWS with a brand new AWS account. right? So in that case, let me give you um, one advice right away. Right? The account that you just sign up, right? Your, that is called your master account, or the, the first account that you create in AWS, right? Do not put any resources into that account. Right? Let's say that you have a website, right? You're hosting it, uh, hosting it on a S3 bucket. Uh, you enable static web hosting and then you set it up with CloudFront and then you uh, expose your website to the world, right? Don't do that in that account. Yeah? Because that's the one of the very, very best practice you must follow just create another account with something called aws organization yeah. you can easily set up any number of account you don't have to like put your credit card details to the subsequent account that you are creating uh, probably you have like come with a new email address and so on so go ahead and create another aws account using aws organization in that account you go ahead and uh, put whatever the stuff uh, that you want to uh, publish to your clients and so on. Why I say that? Because guys, there's something called service control policies, right? Service control policies is essentially, imagine now, you grew your business really well and there are lots of customers out there um, and you started creating uh, your own development team and then they start using uh, AWS uh, accounts that you provision and you want to enforce some uh, rules and policies where some of these developers cannot do these these things right the best way to do that is using service control policies because no one can change that except from the uh, uh, the, the master account uh, that you have access to that that you are the you, you are the owner of the master account except for you the anybody else's even the root users of other aws account cannot do anything about uh, one in any enforced SCPs. But however, SCPs or the service control policies do not work for the master account or the, the, the number one, the first very first account that you create. That doesn't work, right? It, it doesn't work for any of the resources. Uh, so that's why I'm just telling you, do not put any resources in that account and share with your developers, right? Don't do that. Just create another account and then enforce scps so that's the tip for today thank you for watching guys see you tomorrow with another aws tip